darlings, it's Miranda Valentine, editor of the Lifestyle Blog, Everything Sounds Better in French, and today we are whipping up a batch of classic chocolate chip cookies. Now this recipe is a variation on an original version, first published in the Better Homes and Gardens cookbook in 1941, so classic indeed. It's going to be tasty, let's get started. I have our ingredients all laid out here. We're gonna start with two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate pieces, we have chips here, one cup of packed brown sugar, two eggs, a half a cup of granulated sugar, a half of a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of vanilla, a half of a cup of shortening, and a half of a cup of butter softened. So I've got a large mixing bowl here and you will want a hand mixer or some sort of electric mixer. So we're gonna start by creaming the butter. So let's put in our butter and our shortening. And we're just gonna mix this together for about 30 seconds on low to medium. Great. Now let's add in our sugars. And it's always a good idea when you're introducing some sort of sugar or a powder to um, you know, a liquid or a fat like this, that you introduce it slowly so it has time to absorb and it doesn't get overwhelmed. And the granulated sugar now. And the baking soda. Okay. Now let's just scrape the sides. We always wanna make sure that we're doing that. You'll definitely have some little rogue pieces of various ingredients stuck to the side and you wanna make sure everything's combined. Let's give it one little mix more. Okay, now we're ready to add in. Now we're ready to add in the vanilla and our eggs. Give that another mix until combined why the hand mixer saves you or an electric mixer. Imagine doing this by hand, potentially in 1941. What strong biceps you would need. Okay, so now we're gonna start to introduce the flour. Again, we're gonna introduce that slowly and gradually. And we're gonna put in as much as we can and beat it together using the hand mixer. And then if we find that it's not mixing, we'll just do it with the spoon at the end, kind of any additional flour. We'll just introduce with this spoon. Okay. But this is looking pretty good. Now, we're just doing the classic chocolate chip recipe today, but if you wanted, you could add walnuts. You could add in um, like one and a half cups of walnuts. I would chop them. But for those of you with a nut allergy or you just like your chocolate chip cookies super classic, we're gonna follow that recipe today. So we're getting to the point where I may have to switch over to a spoon. Let's see. That's going okay. It's gonna be nice and sticky. Okay, so this is all combined. I don't wanna overmix it. There we go, get that excess. You know that trick, right? If you're trying to get some excess dough off, take it out of the bowl, put it on low, and it will just spin whatever you have stuck on here off. Okay, let's move this over to the side. Now we're going to add in the chocolate chip cookies. This is also when you would add in the walnuts were you to do that version. Now the oven behind me is preheated at 375 degrees. I am also going to do the giant version today. So my measurements for the cookie size is going to be a little bit different. If you wanted to make 60 cookies out of this, you would just do one rounded teaspoon, that's right, a teaspoon, not a tablespoon, um, and you would measure those out on this ungreased cookie sheet. Um, you would need multiple, obviously, uh, to make 60 cookies. Um, however, I'm going to do the giant cookies today. Um, so I'm using a fourth of a cup dry measure. And these are gonna be awfully sticky, so I'm just warning you. So, here we go. If you're doing just the rounded teaspoon, you'll wanna space those two inches apart. 
So I'm guessing I'm going to be able to fit about eight on this, this cookie sheet here. So once I'm all done, we are going to pop these in the oven, 375 degrees. Um, for the giant cookie, it will be about you know, 11 to 13 minutes. And then if you go with just that, that little size where you're going to make those 60 cookies, that'll be about um, seven to eight minutes. So let's come back when they're out of the oven and classically delicious and ready to eat. Okay, so our chocolate chip cookies cooked for about 13 minutes at 375 degrees. I cooked them until they were nice and kind of golden brown around the edges as you can see. So I'm gonna let them cool before I serve them and then definitely store them in an airtight container and enjoy them for up to a week. So there you go, it was super simple, super delicious. That's how you make chocolate chip cookies. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at requests at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.